Okay, let's talk for a minute here about uh, continuation of the whole attachment and judgment thing. <clears throat> you know, I've heard people over the years say, God doesn't make mistakes. <clears throat> and that's a good way of dealing with this judgment and attachment thing. If you believe that everything is one, that we are all a part of one, then no part of that one is wrong, right? That has to be the case. It has to be the case. If you believe that we are all one, and by we, I mean everything around you is a part of the all that is, everything, then that means that whatever is going on in the all that is, is meant to be. It is exactly as it's supposed to be. And from your perspective as a human being in this human skin suit, you have limited perception of how that could be so. But with the understanding and the belief that we're all one, that all of this is a part of one thing, you have to assume that everything is perfect the way that it is. And it, from that perspective, from that understanding, then as you look out in the world around you and the people around you and what's going on, then I would think it would be easier to say in your mind, that everything is fine. There's no reason to negatively judge anything. So then you start going through life and you go, well, um, then the judgment that you make is simply your personal preference, not something that says, my way is better than your way, or I'm going to try to change the world and make it my world. And all of you guys that don't agree with me are wrong. Instead of doing that, because it takes a lot of time and effort, and certainly you can do it, it's part of the game and you're allowed to. But if you'd like to go into bliss, then the easier way of doing that is to say, I prefer to do this. I prefer to be over here. I prefer not to be associated with that over there. But... I don't have any animosity towards those who do because we're all a part of the whole and this is the way it's meant to be and in this game of contrast where the whole thing is set up with good guys and bad guys so the impression is that there is right and wrong all of that is just a way of breaking down what is all around us and beings and stories and illusions being created so that it looks like that there is a right and a wrong and a good and a bad. But in reality, it's just a game being played. So when you're looking out at that, you can say, okay, I get it. It's a game. It's a game. Let them play the game. You've heard me say this before. Let them play the games that they're playing. Your job is to be you. Your job is to have the experience that you came to have, not to bully anybody else into having the experience that you want them to have or that you think is a better experience. Now, ultimately, in the game, part of the game can be that you're forcing somebody else to do it your way. That is a part of the game, but understand that when you do that, you're playing the game. It's not ultimate truth. Ultimate truth is all of this is us. We are that. That is us. So the most horrible things that are going on are also you. Because you are a part of all that is. And those events, people, places, and things are a part of who you really are in a big picture. Right? So in the judgment game, you look at it like that and you allow it. Now, if someone is being attacked and you're standing there, do you step in and stop the attack? Well, that's up to you. You certainly can stop the, the attack if that is not the right thing to do. If you want to interact and that's the experience that you want to have. What I'm talking about here is an underlying core belief and attitude that if you stop that attack, because that's the experience that you want to have, not to judge the fact that one is attacking another. That that's simply a part of the game. That judgment is where you start changing your mind. 
because just like 3D is leaving fear behind so that you feel better and that you can merge back with the all that is, leaving judgment behind is the same concept and it will make you feel better. It really will. So you can go ahead and be the moral person that you came to be, have the experience of whatever version of morality that you are here to do. Just when you're doing that, just don't judge the other guy. When you look at it from the standpoint that this is a game, and they may be in full boat amnesia and not know anything about it, and that's fine, that's the, the game that they've come to play. You can interact in any way that you want to, just the underlying behind the scenes feelings that you have always come from the point of remembering that every single moment of every single day, all of the actions, all the beings, all of the activities, that is all a part of the all that is and it's all perfect. You may not understand it, but it is. So you, your job, if you want to go towards bliss and towards five, the fifth dimension and start to practice about how we live up there is to allow for everyone else to have the experience that they're going to have because it is a part of all it is and there's nothing wrong with any of it. Okay, does that make sense? That's how you add, that's how you head towards uh, oneness. That's how you head towards unconditional love, is to understand that everybody's here for their own game. Whether that makes any sense to you or not, everyone's here for their own game. You choose what game you want to play, in whatever role you want to play, ultimately understanding in the background that all of this is a game, we are all one, Nothing is good, nothing is bad, it is all experience. And when you allow that to happen, there you allow the vibration of unconditional love to be in your skin suit. And when you do that, you'll feel better. You really will. Okay? Well, hopefully that helps. Thank you, everybody, for watching. It was so nice to talk to you today. And by the way, thank you for everyone for your support. Um, it really, really is appreciated. Uh, more than you'll ever know. That means so, so much. And uh, I can't even tell you. I appreciate your, your help so much. Uh, huge hugs. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you later. Bye now.